Hi guys, my name is Bas and this is another SPSS tutorial. Welcome. Today we're going to discuss what to do with proportions because so far all my uh, uh, tutorials have been about the means of uh, about the means of uh, certain variables, but today we're going to look at proportions. So if we look at proportions, it's always a number between 0 and 1 and it basically means a percentage. So a proportion of 0 0.68 means that it is 68%. And what we look at today is only 10 respondents in a small survey, uh, which, is, which calculates what percentage of the day they feel depressed and before and after therapy. So for example, respondent number six felt 82% of the time depressed before therapy and 74% uh, after therapy. And that has a proportion of 0.82 and 0.74. And what we want to know is whether there is a significant difference between those two groups. And what we can immediately notice is that the, the sample size is quite small. It's only 10 respondents. So there's a small chance of being significant, but we're going to try anyway. And what most people would think about if, you were, if you're working with proportions is, of course, Z-scores, so Z-scores. Um, and uh, how you can get to the Z-scores in SPSS is that you go to Analyze. Descriptive statistics, descriptives, and then select the two variables. And then in the left bottom corner, you can select save standardized values as variables. Then you press paste. Then you go to the syntax screen. You select the code and you press the big green play button. Um, and then we get the means of the descriptive statistics. So the means of before and after, which is a proportion of 0.74 and 0.70. And in the data set, we get Z scores, which means how far the score is from the mean uh, in terms of standard deviations. So let's say that the mean is three and the standard deviation is one. Then if the score is two, then that means it's one standard deviation away from the mean. So the Z score would be minus one. But we can't actually make a calculation with these scores because if we would now do a, once a, a paired samples t-test, if we would go to analyze, compare means, paired samples t-test, and select the z before and z after, and then press paste, go to our syntax, and select the score, and press the big green play button, then we get a significance level of one, because the means, if we look at the means, we can see that the mean of B Z before and Z after is zero because it is a combination of all the Z scores, which always equals zero. So we can't do a Z test in this way. Uh, but now we're going to discuss how you can do it. We do now know the uh, proportions, um, the proportions average, because the average proportion of before was 0.74. And of uh, the Z, uh, the uh, mean of after was 0.70. And we know that there are 10 respondents. Okay, what we're then going to do is do manual statistics. Yay! Uh, so we go to, uh, uh, to uh, paint. And this is the score. This is the formula you should use. So the Z score equals the proportion of 1 minus the proportion of 2 divided by the square root of the average proportion times one minus that average proportion, times the square root of one minus respondent number one, plus one uh, divided by uh, uh, the respondents of number two. Well, the P1, so the proportion of one was 74. The proportion of two was 70, which means that the average proportion, if you count those two up and then divide it by two, gets to an average proportion of 0 0.72. And the amount of respondents was the same for each, uh, for each variable and was 10. Well, if you then fill in this formula, I'm not going to do that because it takes way too long. You get to a Z-score of 0 0.201. And then you can go online and Google uh, Z's... Come on, go back. If you then <laughs> Google Z-statistic to p-value, then you can click on the, uh, the uh, top link. The Z-score was point. 0.2.201. The significance level is 5. We have a two-tailed hypothesis in this case because we only want to know whether there is a difference. We didn't say we would, we didn't want to find out whether it was 
uh, whether it was uh, uh, decreased, we only wanted to know whether there was a significant difference. So it can be either higher or lower, which means that we're measuring two tilts. And then you press calculate, and then we can see that the p-value is 0 0.840, uh, 0 0.841, if you round it off, which is far, far higher than the alpha of 0 0.05. So in this case, we make the conclusion that there is no significant difference. And how is that possible? Well, first of all, because the difference between the two groups is not that big, only 0.74 and 0.70. But most of all, it is because the sample size is really small. The n is only 10. If you would do this with 40 or 50 respondents, then maybe we would get uh, a significant uh, difference. But because we only have 10 respondents, this, this difference was not significant. Okay, so that's how you do uh, a, 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 well, a z-test with two samples, uh, which is in this case is paired, but you would do it the same if it was independent. Uh, but that's, uh, no, but this is for paired. Yes, let's do it for pair, uh, paired samples z-test. Uh, so if this was helpful to you, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because more statistics videos are on their way. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.